Uh, I think the few lapses that we had, um, uh, that big first quarter, um, they came out, I think they had like 40, 41, 42, something like that, uh, 40 uh, in, the f in the first quarter. Um, that really hurt us, They're trying to claw our way back um, from that. Um, we managed to, you know, get into single digits and make it a game uh, through spurts. Um, but, you know, a lot of uh, lapses um, <clears throat> defensively um, that were really on us. Not having Nasir and Roko, pretty big deal for you guys, just in terms of their length and athleticism. Yeah, I think so. You know, having uh, bigger guys um, being able to battle um, and fight. You know, their their guys rolling, um, not giving them uh, free looks down the lane, rebounding. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it definitely hurts. You know, Nas provides a lot of energy for us. Um, <clears throat> uh, Roko with deflections, his hands, um, being a solid uh, defender for us and communicating. Um, on that back line, especially in the zone. Um, we had a lot of lapses um, there, miscommunications, guys going with two um, <clears throat> are not, you know, pointing their, their matchups. Um, and it was all of us, all of us had mistakes. It wasn't one or two guys, it was uh, multiple times. It was different guys in the actions, um, not communicating. Um, and, and they took advantage of that. So credit to Dallas, they, they did their, their job. How are you feeling after two games back? Um, well, good. You know, just uh, finding my rhythm. I think uh, I liked how I was more aggressive today than I was last game. Um, <clears throat> not having minutes restriction, um, picking my spots, um, taking the shots that are in front of me that I work on um, every single day. Um, frustrating, you know, when you're getting open looks and getting to the line, um, drawing fouls and not capitalizing on that. You know, um, I'm a very passionate player, so uh, missing easy shots and – uh, shots that I work on constantly. Uh, a little frustrating, but it doesn't deter me from shooting them. Um, the only way you get back in rhythm is by continuing to attack, to continue to be aggressive and take what the defense is, is giving you. Um, so I like that. Um, probably going to be another game or two till I really feel back in the flow of, of the game and um, how I was before COVID and uh, missing the team for uh, personal reasons. So, um, But I like, I, like, I like how I came out today. Um, and I'll take all those looks that I took today, um, any day of the week. Are your personal reasons anything to discuss? Um, just some family matters that uh, I had to attend to and check up on. Um, yeah. Are you go to the Zoom, uh, AJ McCord? Um, you talked about the, the communication and the defensive lapses. How hard is it for this team to work through things like that when you have players in and out of the lineup, including yourself, for health reasons and, and injuries and things like that? How can you guys combat the constantly changing rotation and push through to get better communication and not have those lapses? I think it's just uh, always next man up. I think uh, we've seen that uh, throughout the course of the year. Guys have stepped up and played really well um, with all the changes, whatever's been hit with the team. You know, we've been able to figure it out. You know, it hasn't always been pretty every, every game, but um, we figure it out, you know, with the guys that are on the court. Um, we got each other's back. We're always um, <clears throat> coming in the timeouts, talking to each other and what we see and how we can get better. Every Everybody on the team is very coachable and accepting to whatever uh, a coach is saying or um, a teammate is saying and, and being better in uh, different coverages and <clears throat> in and out of being in and out, in and out of timeouts. Uh, but, I mean, it's the, it's the NBA. Nobody's going to make excuses for you or, or say, oh, it's because of this, that, and the other. You know, you got to go out there and compete um, with whoever's on the floor. Um, I think we're, we're, we're doing that, um, you know, um, and the guys who don't play as much um, with the guys in and out injuries or whatever it is, you know, they're getting a lot of opportunity to play, to learn and grow. Um, and I'm liking, you know, uh, what I've been seeing when I was out watching the games and even in the games, how they're playing and competing and um, taking advantage of the opportunity. Um, so I think that's uh, been a fun part of the season, um, seeing Trendon and GB get some minutes and CJ LB get some minutes, um, and Nas, those guys uh, taking advantage of uh, the minutes that they're getting and um, just continuing to roll, man. Um, done a great job, you know, on the road and uh, looking to do it again, you know, but it's a constant uh, getting better and uh, figuring it out as you go. And I think guys are, are fighting and competing hard, whether there's mistakes or not. We're trying to be aggressive. We're trying to figure it out. And we're going to continue to do that and um, play the right way and live with the results as long as you're playing the right way and playing for another. Um, 
We can live with the wins and losses.